Back tits twisted around a ceiling fan. What episode is this? Number 34? Four? Are we live? In uh, every single country. City. In every city in the world. This isn't actually live. Even Mumbai. Mumbai is a city? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's in India. <laughs> this is geography. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> dude, you've got to be careful. You yeah. have to be more careful, dude. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I was... Ready. You fucking were going at me, so I went defense mode. Yeah, you can't go defense mode with this equipment here, dude. Luckily, you have to let it, happen. it didn't get any of the equipment. It yeah. just missed it. I think it got the uh, headphones. It did. Oh, well, it did. I can see a droplet on the soundboard. Yeah, it's starting to fucking fizz It's starting up. to eat into it. It's it. eating into it. Episode number 34. Um, <laughs> what's fucking happening? It's a Friday. We don't film the podcast on a Friday. And the reason we're filming on a Friday is because last weekend, last Friday night, we had a Bucks party. An old Toowoomba friend... Lil Michaels at Bucks. So we went to the coast. It was a wild evening. We don't really drink much anymore, but we went hard and we went fast. And all through Friday to Saturday, we didn't sleep. We were up. We were ta- doing things. Oh, dude. Very naughty things. All right. You sort of you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then come fucking Sunday, Monday. Well, what happened to you? Because I left on Saturday midday I hadn't slept because i had to go home and fucking just had to i had to get out of there i was just so fucked yeah well i stayed and that was a bad idea because as soon as you went my phone died then we went out i lost everyone i came back and then everyone had gone to bed i'd because i was so fucked i didn't remember which my i didn't know what my room was <laughs> the number of it so i'm like going up and down in the fire like the fire escape stairs just trying to figure out, just hoping, getting a feel for doors. A feeling. <laughs> sensing my friends People behind get, it. Imagine if a woman like a opened creep, the door. Like a sick creep, dude. I was like this fucking, it was like 1am in the morning and I gave up. I was like, all right, I'm going to go like down. And I just sort of took like refuge in the lobby. And then these two people came out and like, dude, is that Michael? Is that you? I'm like, yeah. Like two fans. Yeah. They, didn't, they just know me from the vids and they're like, oh dude, you can come sleep on the carpet. <laughs> anyway, I went and slept on the carpet. I was so fucked. And then I woke up in the morning. There's a kid there? Yeah, there was a kid. Was just, and then I had to go back down to the lobby. And then I was like, finally bumped into my friends, got my stuff, had to drive home. Yeah. Dude, Fuck that drive that. sucked. I, I was so it. tired. Anyway, this week has been the lowest week of the yeah, year. Yeah, man, we can't do it anymore. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're, on Tuesday, we were like, Matt, we can't film the podcast because... <laughs> There's no so way we're going to make eh? people laugh. I was so down. There's no dopamine, no serotonin. And it was just gone. And today is sort of the first day that we're fucking back to normal-ish. Oh, yeah, yeah, rough, rough. We're off the weed during the week now too. We're only just, we've decided we're going to smoke just on weekends now. We're going to be... But since today is Friday, we're allowed to smoke so we'll starting We'll high now. with you guys. Yeah, we'll have a little cheeky puff of lockoxes. <laughs> also in other news a really long term fan Felicity Bungardo she, she was watching us back when we were nothing she's, I remember her yeah she's dead oh really yeah so she's died we just wanted to say mention her we just wanted to mention her we, because she's put a lot of time and effort into commenting and yeah we loved her she, she loved was one us. of the first the cool ever like community. continuous commenters on every single thing on everything and it was from like the very get go. This is like six years ago. Mm. Yeah, this is like fucking before before, before you were Michael. alive. Before, I think. Like, think about time. Yeah, the land before time. Before that film. Right before that started. That's a great. So film I was too. fucking just. But how did you find this out? Um, I randomly came up in Facebook memories, one of her fucking, a fucking video we did. And then I clicked on it and then saw that she had commented. I was like, oh, I haven't heard from her for a while. Clicked on it and saw <laughs> that it was like Felicity's funeral will be blah, blah, blah. Wow. Yeah, dude. But yeah, I guess. We'll I guess it happens. It just... happens to most people. We love you, Felicity. Man, fucking how we've had a few people die. eh? People just dying all the time. Mate, it's apparently that. You could just go like that. Bang! Dead. Bang! One minute alive, one minute dead. Brain and aneurysm. aneurysm. That is what freaks me out, dude. Man, anything, Matt. Anything can, like, 
I watched a fucking YouTube video. A sinkhole just opened up underneath this cunt's bedroom and swallowed him, and he died. <laughs> and they could never, they couldn't even retrieve him because the sinkhole just kept getting deeper and deeper and just piling back in on top. He's fucking still fucking buried his body. Well, at least it's like a quick funeral. Maybe he's he was alive. screaming for days. I couldn't save him. Oh, really? So the sinkhole, just oh. remember that when you're drifting off to sleep, a sinkhole could emerge under your fucking ass at any fucking moment. Yeah, wow, that would be scary. It'd give you quite the fright. <sighs> shut up. Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> what else do we need we to did talk it. about? That hit we did it. Oh, sort of. We just we swore, but that wasn't. No, I think we got through three minutes without swearing. Oh damn it! I fucking got you. I thought it was like ten minutes we had to get through. Nah, three, man. That's oh, that's all right. We're so doable. Well, stages, stages, man. Stages. Um. Also, some fucking um. They wanted us to mention this. I don't know. I, I said yeah. Okay. <laughs> some fucking uh, media thing has ranked us in the top thirty Australian funny funny podcasts. We're in the top top thirty on the feed spot rankings. And they just wanted us to mention that. So, if you want to see a, if you want to see us ranking highly in a table, go visit the feed spot. Fucking go us top top thirty. Top thirty on a random on a random poll. Very good. Fuck man, they don't make those polls up. Things are lifting. You know that for sure. Things are lifting for Especially us. Especially in the US. One hundred and ten percent. So um, there we go this year with the Aussie Podcast Awards. Maybe we'll Yeah, that's soon. Improve. Get your fucking ears shit ready, brother. Get ready because voting opens soon. And then we're going to have to fucking send... We're going to send everyone who votes oh. a video message. We'll try to. Okay? We, so we should be able to do it. last year. We got like eight. Yeah, seventh, I think. But it's going to be a lot bigger this year, I think. So it's going to be harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And here we are. Lucky that we are, have improved... We're growing slowly, but sure. Well, not slowly. It was pretty intense growth to begin with. Yeah. Okay. I'm you know when you yeah when you first start fucking. Yeah, and then that sort of mm, growth. And then you get old. I do. It starts remember. going in somehow. It's like I a, enjoyed mine. It's like a fucking. You can, yeah, you love your first. For speaking of first health. fucks, this podcast is sponsored by Man Scraped. If you want the best male grooming products, go to manscaped.com. And if you want 20% off, who doesn't want 20% off? Raise your hands. No one. No, I don't. All right. If you're Michael, don't worry about it. If you want 20% off, use our discount code, fully actual 20. All right, you get 20% off. They got the best ball shavers in town. We all use them now. They got ball perfume. They got... They got all sorts of shit you wouldn't even They've think got of. they four wipes. Think about it. Okay, you're out in the club. Some girl is getting all raunchy. She's licking her lips. You know, you know that it's not just sex. She's going to give you head. She's going to suck you off. And fuck, let's be honest. When you've been grooving, you've been grooving she on the dance floor. She gets sweaty. She yeah, gets heavy. It stinks. Density. So you get one of these wipes that they have. And you pull your foreskin there. back and you s twist it around like that. And just give it a rinse. And you just... Thrown into the crowd, dancing. Well, and the balls. Well, maybe use a second one for the balls. Yeah, and then you're sweet. She can suck away and not be disgusted yeah, by you don't your have to odor. Be like, Fuck! I hope she's not fucking. And then you can give I her. Hope a, I'm not freaking her out. And you can give her a ball wipe, and she can wipe her chin when she's done. Anyway, that's Manscaped. Our other sponsor is our subscription website, the University of Markle, where we post a weekly video. It's fucking taken off. The dude, it's starting to get a really good- to Willem. Fucking thank you, dude, for yeah, checking we, it out. Yeah, Willem Powerfish, you guys know him. Some of you might He's not. the funniest guy there Aussie is. Aussie influencer, very funny. We gave him the logins. He was just curious. And he put us some stories up saying it's like the, some of the funniest shit he's ever seen. So thank you very much for that, Willem. And we've just been getting lots of praise for the website videos lately just people just coming out from it, the blue it, and being like it was like, a good week for it to happen yeah fuck it was a low week yeah, we needed nice. a bit of dopamine that, yeah <laughs> some compliments now yeah, and her egos are so inflated can't i i don't even want to film nah, anymore. i'm like on par yeah you wait till we have some weed man you're gonna be flying high i'll just be a giggly man yeah, a little giggle pot is that Dude. what you think is that what you think <laughs> oh we no, yeah we'll talk about it later what i was gonna say we smoked earlier for the first time it's worn off now but Long story short, 
holy fuck is it effective again like yeah, I tolerance so has gone right back down tolerance has gone right back down and all we've had is like a week off so that's good so yeah science um i think that's all the shit talk if we got what do we got right now the video that's out is um this you might notice this on the table this is a chunk of wax the wax that you heat up and it melts and then you slap it on your body and you rip it off and it rips your hair out this is covered in Michael's armpit hair, like all of his armpit hair. It's beautiful. It's like a hairbrush. It's like a tongue, a, a cow's tongue. It's like a pig's ear. It's just lovely. Anyway, the video we filmed, we covered Michael from head to toe in this wax. We were meant to cover both, but there wasn't enough. There wasn't enough wax where I, I must have... The calculations weren't quite right. I didn't account for wastage. We literally spent like, what, $250 on, on wax. wax too. And it wasn't enough to cover two grown men. But yeah, I, next time we're doing you first. Well, it's just lucky I won paper, scissors, rock. But yeah, that should be out now. And what what's coming out on the website? Oh my God. Another fucked video. The Sorry. laxative Olympics. Yeah, we spoke about this last week. Oh yeah, we did the podcast after the day of it. Anyway, that's out now as well. Anyway, diary entries. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Settle in. Do you have anything to say, Matthew? No, I have a headache, so I'm quite <clears throat> ill. All right, Matt's not feeling the best. All right, he's hungover as fuck. So, if anyone, if anyone's got a spare moment, send him a message, a nice message. Oh, okay, diary entry. Ha! <laughs> Gotta warm the lips up these days, eh? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! She sells. She found downstairs in the basement. Diary entry number 141 from Michael Corey Bookhouse. Rain is just falling cloud, don't you know? Cloud can fall and its name changes to rain. But why when humans fall do we stay the same? Really makes you think, doesn't it? I had this thought while I was scratching my G-spot. Oh, also, if you want to make shit crystals, all you have to do is press your wet bare ass against the wall in the shower and fart. Then there should be brown specks flecked on the wall and they will be there for days. So yeah, remember that, okay? Anyway, I'm going to have to get some custard for breakfast. <laughs> it's all true. That's me. That's what he used to come to fucking school with and just be so excited because he's made more shit crystals on his fucking shower wall. So if you fart, are you a wet ass? You can get little brown flecks <laughs> and it sticks there. <laughs> Make pretty little patterns. It's art. It's fart art. Diary entry number 111 from Marty. <clears throat> Today I sucked off a man. <laughs> <laughs> he paid me $60 and dad took 30 for organizing it. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> Today I sucked off a man. How old were you? <laughs> Diary entry number 69 from Julian James oh. Tanniston Woods from Ashgrave or some shit. 4060 till I die. <clears throat> Today some fucking clock thing tried to tell me the time. It kept saying tick fucking tock and shit. Like fuck off cunt. I know the time better than any fucking clock does cunt. I reckon it's 4.45 not 4.30 cunt. A guy I used to work with actually invented time. So yeah I fucking know more about time than anyone. Next clock that's gonna tra try and tell me the time I'm gonna fucking uppercut it cunt. Ha 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 you stab stab hug <laughs> stab stab you <laughs> vicious left foot kick roundhouse elbow with meth on it you <laughs> fuck did she <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of emotion there he was oh was there he was showing a bit of a bit of heart yeah maybe a chink in his armour <laughs> that's a great sentence did mm. you think of that mm, yeah yeah i actually invented that someone said that before no no, no that's the first time that, that is time. very good Thank english you. look it up i said that fuck Google dude who said chink in the armor first it should say marty if it doesn't let me know because i'll call him <laughs> <You mean> <laughs> 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 oh, very dick otar dick otar that's how you spell her name d-i-c-k dash o dash t-a-h 
Dick Ota. Dick Ota. Dick Ota. Dick Ota. Dick Ota. And that, from now on, if anyone asks how to spell that, that's how I say it. Okay. I sh- oh, ma- oh, I should have done it on the prank yeah. call. I've already done the prank call. It's at the end. She's now. she's gonna have some more like problems in the oh, future. Oh, she she's got a pretty solid head on her shoulders for a young lady. So yeah. actually, take that back. Okay, she's doing well. Diary entry number one thousand and seventy-eight from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> it was a sweet, windy evening, and I was grating up my neighbor's house cat. I couldn't enjoy the process though as my mind was elsewhere. I was focused on my training and knew an incredibly powerful quest and choir could attack at any moment. For tonight's training I was planning on having a bull out at a farm. If I can have bulls then maybe I can out have my brother and mother. I finished grating the house cat and prepared myself for a night's hunt by stretching my eyelids as far as they would go before tearing. The resulting pain I felt thickened my mints and by midnight I was ready. I stepped outside, sniffed the air, and my pupils instantly swelled up to the size of golf balls. I already had the ball scent and began bounding backwards to the farm. My bounding was becoming effortless, and I cut through the night air like a greasy ball bearing caught under loose foreskin. I arrived at the farm and spotted the ball. I slithered within meat as my heart started spinning on the spot, tangling all my arteries. I lined up its asshole and launched myself exactly how a frog jumps at the beast. With my mouth and eyes wide open, my entire head entered, entered its ass. All the way to my shoulders, the bull immediately started bucking and threw my body up and down like a ragdoll, <laughs> while my head remained trapped in its ass. I desperately tried pulling my head out, but the bull seemed to be clenching its ring, which was now strangling me. The bucking continued and my body would flop up and then snap back down as the bull landed. The strain on my neck was horrendous and for a second I thought the bull might be besting me. <laughs> With my mouth still open, I started to suck. Liters of bullshit rushed down my throat but I kept swallowing. I reached the end of the shit and started inhaling its internal organs. I swallowed two of its stomachs, followed by its kidneys and liver. I was killing the cunt from the inside. The bull stopped bucking and started weakening. This awoke my little brown and it started singing in Latin. My little brown Brown extended and drilled into the bull's ribcage and straight to the heart. My little brown sprayed brown mints directly onto the heart and the bull dropped dead. My head was still up its ass, but I managed to wriggle out. I then sodomized the bull's corpse, took a few selfies, selfies of me fucking its mouth, and screamed my victory song. My training had taught me another valuable lesson, not to attack someone's ass directly, as it could leave you defenseless during the fight. I threw a fistful of brown mints at the moon and bounded backwards home. My confidence was increasing. I just had a bull. Maybe I can defeat my mother and brother after all. <laughs> Dude, that is so fucking weird to visualize. When the bull is bucking and Matt's body is fucking going about like that, his legs flapping out. Oh. I can imagine the whiplash. It would oh, be pretty dude, intense. Oh, it would hurt the neck. It, it would, would have so much strain on it. It would be quite intense. Like mm. you'd have to have so, such a strong neck. No, it would. It you'd would put a lot of pressure. Really on, tense it. A lot of know? pressure on the upper vertebrae. Like so, that. See? Yeah, <laughs> all the way down to the lumbar. Actually, like that. you could really severely actually get some, some bulging I reckon, discs. Yeah, mm. that's good strength. Oh, yeah, that is that is great flexibility in your spinal column there. Well, oh, I did give high you high jump as a kid. I used to do the Frosby flop. Well, that explains it, mate. That bloody explains it. I used to do high jump. No Frisbee. wonder his bloody spine's so fucking floppy. It's the Frisbee flop, isn't it? Frisbee, Frisbee, Frisbee flop. Frosby flop. Frisbee flop. Frosby flop. Fuck. Comment what it is. Should we Google I it? swear it's Frisbee. By the way, we haven't begged for any engagement yet. If you want to, su- if you can't support us in any other way. Please. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. All right? I'm not doing it. Look, if you like the video, you give it a like and you put a comment down. If you don't know what to comment, just comment, comment. Because we need to trick the algorithm because YouTube doesn't monetize their videos. So they don't show them to new people. So our only growth relies on you guys. So please subscribe. Blah, blah, fucking blah. We're too naughty. Manscaped. All right. I have something for you, Michael. Mm. It is Fosbury flop. Whoa. I no, swear. really? Yep. It's it was not Frisbee flop? It's not Frisbee flop. I used to say Frosby flop, which is almost a version of Fosbury flop. Yeah. 
But um, it was popularized by and perfected by an American athlete named Dick Frosby. Frosby. Well, my sports teacher was a dick for telling me the wrong thing. And what well, people, was everyone doing scissors before that? Yeah, and he won gold that time in that Olympics. It would have been like he's fucking cheating, man. Imagine seeing that for the first time. In previous history, anyone's only ever done scissors jumps, and then all of a sudden this guy's doing it backwards. It would, be cool it would have been mind blowing. It would have been it. fucking mind blowing. be so. Imagine seeing feel, that, being the first person to see like that. You feel like you were the special one. 110% you would. You wouldn't even be there. You'd be like Princess Diana before a It's like being off in another death. universe, seeing that for the first time ever. Cool. It's like seeing the man land on the moon. Same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. He got done for drugging. Yeah. He was under performance enhancing when he was on the astronaut. But then when they went to pick the winner after him, they went, they had to go like 20 people back because everyone was, was doping to well, find someone who wasn't about doping. The man. We're talking like, about Neil Armstrong moon. here, man. The man on the moon. I thought you were talking about Neil Armstrong. Na- yeah, Neil Armstrong. I thought about Lance Armstrong. No, no, no. Neil Armstrong was under he was heavy, too. heavy sedatives. Thing. Something to do with the name Armstrong because they're obsessed with being fucking oh, strong and so shit. So, they have to take the sedatives. They get, it's like a huge ego thing. So, they just fucking, they just want to perform. Are you, are you here, man? Are you... Bong break! And also, it's next segment. Am I right, man? Yeah. Snick, Which snick has it. been renamed. Michael? Do you want to read this name? Yeah. Tut mer lied man anglis eind anta alle fuck. Is the name of this segment. And this is a segment where we answer all of your questions. So if you want us to answer your question, just comment it on our fully actual YouTube channel. And if it gets the most likes or just one of the highest likes questions, then we answer it. So once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and have a read and see which other questions you'd like us yeah, to answer. Involve, engage yeah. with the community. Give them a like um, and just see. Just see what happens. And if we don't answer your question, just keep asking them. Um, it's just good comments. And we just like to know what you guys want to know. Do you know what I mean? It's like we're all getting to know each other. We read all the comments anyway. So, yeah. Are we explaining shit still? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think okay. last last week we didn't because um we ran out of time or something. Science got too much. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of um, fan interaction to get through. Oh, I'm excited. I feel. Um, I feel alive, I feel eh? Baked as shit. I yeah. feel so alive right now. Oh. oh, you've got different. You're like a sheep. He <laughs> looks like a cute little sheep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Look at that. Bah. <laughs> 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 Oh, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Sheep. Sheepy. Oh. Very oh, very good. We have a no, sheep that's here. Great. I fucking great. love sheep. Thank you, dude. Thank you for doing that. Why do you think I did it, man? I, I did it all for you, man. Dude, You're my sheep. Everything I do is for you. Hey, little barn. I want to put you in the barn. I've loved you since high school. Oh. All right. Brown. All right. Here we Brown go. Brown town. Fucking good to have a sheep in the room. Oh, most liked comment went to Ryan, Ryan Ferdinand. Ferdinand's. That's for me. <laughs> oh! All right. Matt Brown, in season two, there was a period where people sent you fucked up videos. Oh, yes. What was the worst that you saw? <laughs> 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 Oh. He was left traumatized for months. We can um, talk about. We can't actually talk about it. So Ryan, if it's you want to, yeah, we literally can't. Just think yeah. of like the worst thing you could do. Yeah, to, to a, a kid, to a child, and that's probably what it <laughs> is. Oh man, uh, it was so no, no bad. No one ever do that. No one ever. That's just you know, we that's fucked. And but gr- and yeah, the gore. Yeah, t- I don't know. You told yeah, me. Yeah, there was else. everything. There was. But um, Matt just told me he felt really sick. Yeah, I am definitely now desensitized a lot to more war. than the normal person. Yeah, but, well, um, yeah. What else? You got some real gruesome shit. Yeah, out. we got some like like some cartel oh. like gang murders of and people women. cutting their dicks off and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one guy went to cut. I couldn't watch that though. That was hard to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen some of that shit. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I've seen some dude cut his dick in half oh, like mm. down the middle and then somehow jerk he off. can jerk yeah. off and he blows through the base oh, of his stop, dick stop anyway oh. like I've yeah sounds like fucking um, yeah like, like uh, kids, kids crawling in power oh. lines in like third world countries like real fucked up shit <laughs> dude that is Holy rough shit. and um yeah it put I'm, me down a bit <laughs> <laughs> put me down I'm me now that's like yes. 
That's in my um, head. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so why don't we make times. it? Why don't we make it, guys? A send, new one. Send Matt no, Brown. No, no, don't send nah, me anything. No, no, no. Send Matt Brown. We revamp it. We, we revamp it with something. Uh, something love. What? Lovely. Dicks. Last lovely. time you said no, no. send something, I got how over a hundred dicks. How about something lovely? What's something lovely? you would like? What's something you would like? Breasts. Yeah. You'd like some breasts. <laughs> Send Matt Brown breasts. If you're a guy, this one with tits. If your tits is okay. If, you, if, if you're a guy, especially, send your breasts. All right. So, you know, and if we get some good guy breasts, we'll put them on the OnlyFans. We'll save them and we'll pull them on OnlyFans. Cleavage? Like, do you want them to push it, push them together and shit? I just I want to move on. on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Matt Brown. But yeah, it was a tough, tough time. At Matt Brown one 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 one. Oh yeah, and at- should I change that? Yes. Why is it one? Why is there four? Because there's because fucking I was a billion note- Matt Browns out there. Yeah, I had to work it out. So should I change? I need to. Oh, me and Marty can sort it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll fucking change it to fucking Matt Brown or something. Come. It's the- Matt Brown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Matt all Brown. the others. Yeah, some fucking Matthew Brown. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were talking on Discord last night. How like you, no one calls Matt Matt? It's it's all either Matt Brown or Brown. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I can good. actually, you know, in high school it was all Brownie, right? But when I got to Brisbane, I remember with my friend Jess, who I started living, with, she started going Matt Brown, Matt Brown, and people just ran with it. All right. Um, <laughs> the person in second place was Stephen Hunt. He had a question for the podcast: Will Question and Choir be making an appearance at Marty's wedding? Will, Bre- will Matt Brown bring Requifton? Look, it, it all depends on their standing. Um, you know, it's I don't want to put anyone in an uncomfortable position and I certainly don't want anyone to have halved here. I don't want to see anyone having yeah, in front of me. During your first dance, like, choir's yeah. just got mad. Yeah, and like, like and I'm bounding like, backwards trying to get away and they're chasing me. Quite a violent uh, interaction. So, look, we'll try. We'll definitely try our very best, all right? <clears throat> Yeah, we'll see. Could take a while to organize that. Next question is from Tyler. Tataya? Tataya? Yeah, Tataya. Tataya? Tataya. 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 Emphasize. Um, he's got two questions and I thought they were both equally good. He did give me the option to choose, but I'm going to use both. Very kind um, of him. First Very question. Uh, which body part do you wish you could detach and why? Probably the balls. <laughs> they, they're fucking they're they so, get in the way well they're just so they like smell? They, they, you, you fucking knock them against something you touch it and it hurts fucking terribly it's so annoying like they should be in you so you don't have to worry about them getting ripped off and punched and shit like that mm. it's such a source of weakness do yours go in a bit sometimes when you have sex I know it's cold yeah, so they do Maybe. suck. They yeah, suck they up suck occasionally. Up yeah. yeah, the skin tightens pushing the sperm out just hugs the balls against your hips <laughs> oh. And his uh, second question was Would you rather fight a zombie invasion Or an alien invasion Zombie Rather fight Yeah like Zombie dude Which Aliens you you'd lose straight yeah, away Yeah aliens would lose tech. for sure But zombies, zombies would be fun I reckon Bozzy would be a, a good weird way Bozzy would be a good zombie like, killer mm. No Look at way. him Look at him <laughs> Yeah he wouldn't He'd be so shit He'd be hiding behind me <laughs> In your lair between But yeah lips. we've I feel like we've trained for zombies like I'd know exactly I've what to do. I've watched heaps of films. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question is from Emmanuel. Um, <laughs> what does forty sixty mean? Till I die. Forty sixty is one of the greatest suburbs in Brisbane, and that is where postcode. our our Yulia is from, and that is the postcode for that suburb. And Julian Julian states that he will always be forty sixty until his death. Until his death, and then the 4060 will leave his body like a soul leaving an angel. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was very good. You can see it. You can see the numbs coming out when he dies. I've seen it come. Someone had fucking the fucking city postcode for 4000. Next question is from Patrick. Hit by a car and just floated straight out of him. It's beautiful. <laughs> the, the postcode numbers the come out here. It was fucking beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. One of the most magnificent things I've ever seen. It's from Cannon Hill. Thank God. It only happens if you are really passionate about, about your where postcode. you're from, cunt. Yeah. It's part of your soul, cunt. Ain't, ain't no stop on it, cunt. <laughs> oh, people are fully like that. <laughs> Patrick has asked, have you guys ever considered making an entire film, like a feature film? Yeah, fucking um, oath. 
He, go, he said, if you haven't thought about doing that, I'm deciding here and now you need to get it done. I wonder if with all of the videos we filmed, if somehow you could edit it into a storyline and into a movie so we wouldn't have to film anything else. That's what Jackass is. It's just scenes. Yeah. But no, nah, of course we want to do a movie. Though. Of course we want to do a movie. Mm. And one day we probably will. Yeah, what but- sort of movie would we do? I don't know, but I think you guys would be really good at cameo appearances in films like a Jay and Silent Bob style characters, mm. like comedic relief. Yeah, as long as we didn't have to do too much. Our acting is <laughs> is shit, but if we if we only are acting as ourselves, that's easy. So we, we can do that. So we would have to act as ourselves in whatever we do. Maybe but- like like a new Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, yep, that could be something great. Yeah, you could be in there in the. Would in be the like beast. the monsters, the mystery, or like monsters. a Disney movie or something, or um. Can you have like that Pocahontas? Thing? Pocahontas, you could be Pocahontas, and I could be the ship. Yeah, where all the people land on. Yeah. You could carry me. Hundred and ten percent, man. Anyway, next question. All right, next question is from Matt Dog ninety nine. <laughs> um, oh, here you come. Hmm. How do I become a guest on the show? Suck me off. What? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question is from Mr. Sam Davenport. Uh, what are your twiddle, twiddle? What are your Twitter handles? Uh, it's just at Marty and Michael. At Marty and Michael on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, baby. How there many followers have we got now? In fact, let's tweet something <laughs> right now. Let's oh. tweet something right now on the old Twitter sphere. What should we tweet today? Hey? Come on, give us a word each, boys. Matt, what's your word? Hey. Hey. (laughs) Oxygen. Hey, oxygen. Hey, oxygen. Get fucked. Get fucked, mate. (laughs) (laughs) Say get fucked. (laughs) That's viral. That's viral. How many followers we got? Oh, it's good. slowly growing. Four, two fifty nearly now. Fuck yeah, can't. Two hundred and fifty or two hundred fifty thousand. Two fifty, man. We haven't promoted it anyway. It's like whatever's, man. <laughs> Next question is from Nikki. Um, she says, Matthew Gregory Brown, you are sick. He's feeling. How did she sick. know that? Yeah. How did she know I'm she's sick? A future teller. Yeah. Future. Maybe she's been at my house. She's a future teller. Maybe she was at my house. Future teller. I, it is you. I'm future, yeah, anyway. future teller. Um, oh, oh. Future teller. She demands oh, to know. Oh, the she. <laughs> she demands to know what our favorite candy is. <laughs> oh, Kit Kat. I fucking cannot go past a beautiful oh, block I of want Kit Kat. One so bad. I'm gonna kind- have a bad meal tonight. Kinder, Fuck it. Kinder chocolate is like. Oh yeah, like, you get love, fucked. You love Kinder. Dude, Kit Kat, so good. Kit Kat chunkies. When you eat them, do you eat them normally or do you eat the chocolate? You just eat around? them normally because the part of it is you got to have I all the ingredients smash together. In, yeah. But the wafer by itself is special. Dude. You just no. buy wafers then and buy no, a block wafers. of chocolate. Yeah. But I'm, I'm block a tr- and then you have to fucking nibble. Not more I'm on Marty's side, shit. man. You're fucking free. Kit Kat wafers are good. What about Boost bars? Do you bite around the uh, edge? Boost no, bars are same shit. thing. Boost just bars, okay. right boost bars are just Mars bars boost- on crack. No, the Boost bar, the inside of it, that chocolate stuff that lines the inside, mm. that is the stuff that goes on Tim Tams. Mate, we don't all have time to chew around the edges. You Sometimes gotta, you got to get it down. Oh, got to get it down, man. We can't all be sitting around. Can't. I've got work to do tonight. Do you know what I mean? I've got Marty's quick- got a family. I've got a, another job. Can't be fucking. What are you doing? Can't no, be, you're fucking- just chewing around the edges. Fucking yeah. wasting your fucking time nibbling, cunt. Go for a skateboard, maybe. Next question is from Swampbox69. Oh, oh, that guy. Uh, would you guys consider doing some merch with some of Marty's quotes? I would dead set buy a shirt that said, great to see. Mm, great to see. Oh, yeah. We, B more B. It'd be great on a shirt. We're thinking. Fully yeah. actual. Yeah. Like 100%. There will be podcast merch eventually. All right. You have my word. And when we we're planning on extending our team a little bit, like maybe hiring some more some help at the end of this year, so we will have more time to do some other shit. Because boy, are we swamped at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> our cups are full. Yeah, we can't take on any more projects. Otherwise, the quality of everything that we do will suffer severely, and our mental health will also suffer, and we will spiral into a deep, dark depression or and possibly madness. kill ourselves. <laughs> Man, so, no. Nah. Yeah, but yeah, we will start merch. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get on that. <laughs> Next question is from James is Kirk Patrick. Mm. Question <laughs> for Michael. Holy shit! You ready, man? Mm-hmm. Um, did you feel weird after you put the golly bottle all over you? 
This is uh, for for context. On one of our recent website videos, you called you laugh, you lose. Michael gets the golly bottle and pours it all over himself to make myself and Julian laugh. It's on the website. Just go and sign up for the free trial. You can watch it. All right, it's fucking insane. We've been getting some really good feedback for it, Michael. Yeah, I would say I blocked it out, and I knew that there was a greater good to be had. Did you swallow anything? No. Okay. I might have. I don't. Yeah. In the yeah, eyes? It was like, yeah. Because, you know, shit eyes. can yeah. enter your eyes. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I kept my eyes closed. The and smell. I, 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 I breathed out for a long time after the bottle had finished. There's no way you can not smell that. I was smelling you from 10 meters away outside. Oh, yeah. It was on me. I, I But I'd gotten used to the smell. I, it was just oh. hard to breathe because all the liquid was going over my nose and mouth. And what was the texture, do you think? Just clumpy like like, like what like long like syrup is it thick would it <coughs> or is it like glimpse. is it closer to water or closer to honey nah, in between yeah and like honey's that. too thick it's it's never going to be that yeah, it would be that. i wish it got to that oh that would that be, would be so cool to see we, it come out if we cook no that's down. all you're like that's me that's in that your bottle. chest that's like my kid that's your chest it's like children. a fetus or some shit it's your chest babies yeah you if we cook that down we could 100 percent do that man it's like I reckon it's sort of like milk from breast. A hundred percent. Women lactate. Michael lactates from his throat and lung. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Because your tits are there, your lungs are there, same thing. Just behind it. You got to yeah, get it up a different would. way. He would. I yeah, agree. He, he could feed birds with the gollies. But that, up. Because it probably only had about this much of all <laughs> sediment. The, the real proper the good hard stuff. sediment. And then the rest became slime. Mixed with, because it was probably about a quarter of water or I'm half reach, of I'm water. I'm reaching my limit. Anyway. I'm reaching my limit. I cannot no yeah. longer talk about oh, Yeah, it, it's... I don't, what was the question? <laughs> Next question is from Jamie Gonzalez. Um, did Marty... Oh, hang on. Did Marty get to catch pink eye after all the um, Marty, have you ever caught pink eye after all the farting on the mic? No, luckily. I think it's because my mouth is close to the mic. If I were to rub my eye on the pink mic... Pink eye is a like myth. Like this. Pink eye is a myth then I might be in trouble, but it's just because I p- press my lips against it. So uh, it's just kissing shit. It's not putting shit in my eye. And yeah, we've done extensive experiments. Pink eye is quite hard to catch. <laughs> okay, so we're on a tennis camp, right? And you're staying in these separate cabins and one of our mates was staying in another cabin and he was out at dinner. Michael we, Michael and I walk into their cabin. We're talking to some of our mates. Michael grabs one of their pillows of the guy who's not in the cabin and like, like pretty much puts a fucking skid mark in the middle of it and just fucking puts it back down and we leave. And then, yeah, like we never heard anything else from that. <laughs> yeah. If, he if Pink Eye was real, didn't get pink we would have found out. <laughs> and all the gas was... you have blown into my face every fucking time. Yeah. With squirty. Sometimes Michael will, be, Michael will be fucking hung over on a couch and I'll sneak up behind him and get like my ass cheeks so close to his head and just unleash the sickest squirt and he'll just shoot up. Shoot up so quickly because uh... it's such a <laughs> Sound. Yeah, I've, and I've never had it. So, yeah, but your immune system's something else. Yeah, science. Next question is from uh, Noah Yasik. Yasik? Oh, he told us how to Yasik. say it. Yasik. Yasik. Come on, man. Noah Yasik. <laughs> question for all of you. Um, <laughs> if you could change your name to a female name, what would it be? Glorian. <laughs> Glorian. <laughs> Glorian Delora. My full name would be Glorian to Laura Artifacts. <laughs> yes! That's fucking good, Mac. Clap I am Glorian to Laura. Clap for that shit. Glorian to Laura! Artifacts. Clap for that shit, dude. It's amazing. Did you anyway. hear Artifacts? All right. I'd probably go with Hail. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be spelled H A I L C. The sea is silent. <laughs> Glorian has spoken. <laughs> Glorian. And what would you be, Matthew? Mm, what does Matt look like? I feel like Matt might be like a Lisa. No, isn't this your favorite name for a chick? That's what now you could change your Fuck, name I'm to. I'm high as a kite. Yeah, okay. If you could change your name to a female name. Me? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You wow. Wow. Because that's all chicks do, you can't. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking bitch! Sorry. 
Next question is from James Captain Kirk. Patrick. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Can you guys explain what Bogan and you dog means? Bogan is like an Aussie redneck. And what was the other one? You dog. You dog is just something you say when someone has wronged you. Oh, that guy uh, had sex with my auntie. You dog. That person scuffed up my lawn and he's wearing my good shoes. You, you dog. dog. There's some cream spilt on the kitchen bench and no yeah, one has dog. mopped it up. You dog. So on and so forth. You've been Slept wronged. With my girlfriend, you dog. You've been wronged. You use the terminology. So in, in, in court of law, the judge would say, You're you guilty, dog. you dog. And they often say that. It's very common. Next question is from Mitchell Lindors. Lindors? Lindors? Indoors. Lindors. No, the L is Lindors. nothing to do with it. Okay. Indoors. Mitchell indoors. is indoors. Mitchell indoors. At all times. Michael. Yeah. When are you going to slam the hot chick with the horse? <laughs> <laughs> if maybe if the hot chick with the horse is listening to this, maybe um, she could come over and um, have sex with you if you would like. <laughs> no, we just watch a film, man. Feed the horse together. Yeah, feed the we'd horse. Go, Give it a carrot. We'd go catch a film. And what else are you doing, Dave? Sea biscuit. We'd go to High Fly. Oh, yeah. We'd okay. go skydiving, but not really. With the Ma horse? Imagine taking a horse to high five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so It's going up in the air. No, it's, <laughs> it's spinning around really fast. <laughs> it's, cut, it's, it's going 360. Because it's a fucking barrel shaped cunt. <laughs> oh, dude. If it didn't get hurt, I would fucking I would make it happen. <laughs> As long as it was fine, <laughs> I would pay money to see that. Or just shit. do it with a dead one, like a horse that's died. A very had a oh, very yeah. lovely long life, and it's died had a very peaceful death. It's and the high fly or the high fly thing, guys, is like a just before rigor mortis sets in and it stiffens. Just place it in an eye fly and turn the machine up full ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the it's like what an artificial skydiving thing. Hundred and ten percent based tube. Yeah, you go into a tube and they shoot air up, and so you it's like you're flying. Have you done it? No, not yet. I'm, we're going to though. It's I, terrifying. I hated it. It's scary. Uh, it, it just feels... You feel out of place there because you're, Can you you're floating and shit right? and oh, he's holding no. you and he doesn't let you do your thing and then you feel like you could launch up and something could go wrong. Yeah, and if you launched up and then turned into a pencil dive position, you, you could probably... hurt yourself. Seriously, oh, yeah. you can <laughs> fuck yourself up if you don't have a guy. Oh, fuck. That's terrifying now. Yeah. I might go home. <laughs> yeah, well, just don't go to iFly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Home. That's so true. I was going to stop in there on the way home. Yeah. But I won't do that now. That's a good yeah. sponsorship. We should invoice them. Yeah, done. I fly expecting an invoice. Well, uh, it's not that good, guys. Like, go skydiving. It's but the real thing. I'm still invoicing them. If you're going to do something like 100%. that. 100% still invoicing Next question is from Just Jin. Um, have you guys ever ruined a wedding? Um, I uh, I didn't ruin it. I would help. There was once... Uh, Michael wasn't here for this one, but uh f like a oh, i used to, to be performance. i used to be quite uh, close with my roommates where we all lived and um one of them was getting um married and um i said just like just during the wedding in the itinerary just give me a 15 minute slot towards the end of the night just <laughs> just i'm not going to tell you what i'm doing just do it and i want a stage to perform on and then they did that and the whole wedding party gathered and then um i did like this interpretive dance to the Titanic theme song, <laughs> dude, I've seen I've seen photos, of it. yeah, and um, Very yeah, it was, it was a fucking, it was honestly, it was beautiful, and I'm so Have glad. Have you still it. got a video of that? Yeah, I do. Yep, she sent it to me. Let's she put that on like fucking the OnlyFans, or it's quite dark and shit, but yeah, yeah, we should. Do, do you want to? Do you know some random we'll facts? Group. Yeah. ULM group, huh? That girl was actually one of my first roommates when I came to Brisbane. Oh you know wow, that? no, that's all right. I think yeah. we and we didn't figure out. it out until she came over to your house one day, sat down. Yeah. I was like, and she's like, oh, "What's her name again?" Megan. Oh, Megan. That's right. And she's like, "Oh, she's like, oh, hey, I'm Megan." I'm like, "We we fucking lived together we at one fucked. point in a share house." Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, crazy. The most embarrassing part about that story is I right before I was off in the bushes practicing, like just fucking. <laughs> On my own, like just because I just wanted one quick run through so I could like time all the jumps and shit. And then I fucking turn around and Megan's dad was standing there. Oh, no. Taking a piss, just looking at me. Like, and no one knows what I'm doing at this stage. 
Dude. I was like, oh, oh, don't worry. I'm just practicing. Dude. That is a moment in life where you just go, what the fuck? Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. But, but then he redeemed myself once he saw the yeah, art true. that I made. Yeah. It's fine. But, but for that like 10 minutes, he would think you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Yeah. And <laughs> my, yeah, I didn't really explain it either. I was oh, I'm just practicing. <laughs> Will you demand that at my wedding? Like a 15 minute bit so you can do something? Dude. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We possibly. Have, very possibly. We do have potential to ruin a wedding with. We're going to be MCs of a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. The guys whose bucks we went to last weekend, we're going to be, we're MCing his wedding together. And we've never ruined a wedding, like, but we have had a lot of fun at weddings. Weddings are so fun. I oh, fucking man. love weddings. MCing's going to be fun. Yeah. And dangerous. Yeah, dude. If we have a bit too many beverages. No, we'll be good. I promise, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We, we won't. Will. We won't do anything crazy. Maybe you laugh, you lose. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the wedding. <laughs> 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 Next question is from X R double G I N. When are you two going to strap Matt Brown to a chair and force him to sit through a whole prank call? Yeah, he even he, we've already done the prank call. Matt had to get up and leave. He walks to the other end of the lounge room and plugs his stuffs his fingers in his ears. He just can't do it. This prank call coming is one of those ones that you cringe hard at, though. Yeah, it's the the K Dakota character. I love cringe, though. Yeah, mm. it is hot. Oh, I like, love a bit fuck. of cringe. It's like a drug. Eh? Mm. Mm. What was the question? Um, oh yeah, make him what? Yeah, yeah would you ever strap yeah, into a chair? Well. Uh, maybe next season yeah next when season if I'm we'll stuck we'll he get has Matt to on camera yeah. so it's like he then we can you guys can see his reactions yeah to that's them. great yep that's what we're gonna do for I'm season I'm gonna get four. a big pair of earmuffs out <laughs> you're not not allowed not oh. I'll cut hole in earmuff baby <laughs> not allowed yeah he will <laughs> the sheep will cut a hole the sheep, in the sheep come flying in my scissors baby boy <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright next question is from Matt um, <laughs> do you boys ever worry that Quest and Inquire are just personalities inside Matthew that maybe all these diary entries are really just stuff he's doing to himself it could be some sort of split personality thing based on some childhood trauma that Matthew Brown had yeah of course I've thought of that I am in fact one of the smartest people alive usually those people can't remember that they're another personality exactly so exactly I wouldn't know and look I haven't seen Matt and Quest in the same room together so yeah wow they Sort of look could, alike. It could be one of those cases, but when this they've got, he's got a long hair, and now he doesn't have that issue anymore because they fused together. The personalities fused together. It happens. Read a book. Read a book. Next question is from Rob. I guess you could sodomize someone. <laughs> sodomize like <laughs> such a good consensually. word. Consensually. Yeah. yeah okay. I always thought it was. Yeah, you've sodomized heaps of things. <laughs> <laughs> you're sodomize fucking, it's a strange word you're a head sodomizer in this whole household <laughs> what was the fucking Matt's head went up a fucking <laughs> a bull a bull you yeah. sodomized it with your head no, I didn't fuck it my head just went up there and I sucked well, its did, organs out did. that is so different is sodomize don't put me in the category with is you sodomize sex or after. can it be anything no I don't I'm not in your category no way no, I, I'm you, just you did cross I'm fucking sodomize shit <laughs> <laughs> Rob has asked a question <sighs> Boys um, Have you ever thought about doing A, a video um, Where Marty's laughing Obnoxiously In awkward places To watch Michael cringe um, Yeah well Yeah that's like, it would That video would be okay But I do that all the time anyway And it's just like Yeah Michael just walks off So it's a, that vi It would be an okay video Dude but I've got a story for today oh, What mate. he did today yeah, from Marty, from this shit. We were buying Julian's birthday present in the jeweler. And he's like, I've got a fart. <laughs> and he's like, and the lady's literally like fucking three meters away. And he rips one and it's the most sour smell. Like it's like fucking hot milk. So loud. Like off So milk. abrupt. And then I was so like, much. so embarrassed, just walked away for a bit, pretend I was looking at other watches and shit. <laughs> And then I always follow him. Oh, yeah, then he I follows fucking me. fucking bail. And he's pissing himself behind his mask. And like, so it's hard to tell who it was out of me and him. And then like, she's still doing up the watch. And literally like two minutes later, he's like, I've got another one. And then I'm just running away from him around the jeweler. And he's just chasing after. As soon as he gets to me, he lets it rip. And 
it was so obvious you could tell it was the most embarrassing <laughs> fucking time we were the only two people in this tiny little oh, jewelry dude, store oh dude it's was a, Look, it was a great laugh. And she was cute. Like, oh. you fucking dickhead. So uncomfortable oh. all the time. Yeah, I embarrassed us. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this was my voice. No one would hang out with me. Oh. Oh. Next question is from Sean <laughs> Abel. A fucking new version of... <laughs> The Eeyore from fucking Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Attack. Sean has asked, have you guys ever come close to throwing in the towel and giving up on social media altogether? No, once we started, we pretty much just knew that we'd fucking just power through until we got there. And now that we're there, it's hard, but it's definitely, definitely. It's rewarding. Yeah, it's good. Especially like when people say like how much they love the fucking vids and shit. Yeah. It's lovely. It's nice to know you're putting a smile on And I love what, watching people, like reading the comments and shit and watching people watch the videos if they laugh. It's great. <clears throat> it just makes us feel very, very loved. Very lo- lovely to be able to do that. So, yeah, no, we haven't thought about throwing in the towel, but it's definitely, definitely a, a very relentless life as well. The, the desire for content, especially because people pay for our content. So we can't just be like, oh, that video didn't work. Oh, well, let's have a week off. We have to get videos out all the time, every single week, every week, okay? Every fucking week. So now we're trying to back videos up so that we can have a small break at the end of the year. Yeah, just a few weeks off would be Recharge so the hot. batteries, bro. Just Am I right, just, bro? Yes. Yeah, Recharge. Can't. All right. There's a fair few other questions, but we got a lot of farts to get through. Yes, we do. Oh, the next segment. Next segment is... Fart. 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 Now, we said if you want your name to be like... Mentioned yeah. after your fart, from because it's too hard to... Because some people don't want their names mentioned. Some people do. So if you want your submission to be played and you want your name said, after you finish filming your fart, yell your name or just say your name, okay? Say your name. If you want your name included, say it after the fart. Scream it. Okay? Otherwise, we're not going to... It's too hard to find out. It's like... Because we're going to go through screenshots, then back to the videos, blah, blah, blah. It's going to take too long. We have 40 farts here that have been sent in. Thank you to everyone sending in the farts. Keep the farts coming. Make sure it's a video. Of either you doing something funny with a fart or an, a, a fucking... You can face the wall yeah, as you, you can, fart. You can just so it's not be your filming, identity. filming you can, the ground, you know, yeah. whatever. There was some cool ones. Some dude farted in his mate's face on here yeah That's like there are some very funny parts okay but yeah so anyway oh there's a lot to get through so we'll play them um we'll fucking we'll probably cut some of the shit ones all right but we'll just play them and then we'll rate them out of 10 on the fucking scale. and maybe even say a word why like a descriptive word of why you like so say if it's really good you say nine damp yeah and like, like that and maybe like so if damp we damp is just the word of that fart. and maybe oh, if, it's, if it's shit and it needs a bit of work we can give them some constructive criticism like needs more attention needs more we can critique them exactly mm. right anyway without further ado keep sending those fucking farts in thank you i love this segment already here we go fart art <laughs> oh that's not bad yeah that's it's, he's fun. got like it he, got interesting towards the end do you know yeah. what i mean like i want to come back for seconds yeah i definitely mm. see that again Wow, very, very good. That's a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Was it had that- levels, you know. Yeah. It started out and then it jumped up and down levels. Usually it's hard to go up and down that fast. Um, if strange. you see something in the video, make sure we uh, explain it for the people. This is just a dark room. Yeah, I think there is some video. Yeah, is very good. Lips? No. I don't know. That sounds like they they've got fucking colon cancer. Last week, by the way, we got to mention this. Last week, we said that some of the farts were fake. Yeah, we called out Bodie and Bodie was very upset. And it turns out they are fucking real. And there, is some of his in here? There's one in there. Uh, is she? We'll hear him say, you thought it was fake. Okay, perfect. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Hopefully it's there. Yeah. 
Oh, he, he very good save. He's holding he save. Come over. Yeah, very good save. The only suggestion I would have was maybe push as hard as you can at the very end to make so you can create the best parts at the end. It's the, go, it's, the, yeah. it's the misdirection comedy. So if you hear a fart tapering off and then at the very end, <laughs> a little spike, that really gets the laughs. So good. I give that a 6.5. Yeah, I'd probably go a 7. All right, here we go. <laughs> creative Donna next to his girlfriend so he gets extra points for that okay that's that's a six yep give me six it's very short mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then he fucking drooled after what's this <laughs> that's what you fucking do Good. Put a bit of spit come hanging out of his uh, fucking mouth after but some yeah. dude just sent me him diarrhea shitting I just was not Dude that is a great nah, idea Nah I'm not <laughs> Fuck <laughs> That brown has to go through all these Anyway next fuck <laughs> Yeah see, see he, He's allowed over That's good Yeah that's a good one There you go And the boys appreciate it. Yeah, it sounds like they were chilling out and he just went for it. Yeah, very good. He could have dragged that out. Honestly, mate, you could drag that out. You can make that twice as long. Double that time, yeah. Double the time, double the laughs. Let me tell you that. (laughs) 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 This is the guy's got a bike pump up his ass. I want to see this shit. Dude, we, I think we gotta try that That's eh? a good yeah, idea We need to do that I think Fuck Shit That, that means I am gonna have to do that <laughs> I'll try it too No I, yeah. want, I wish I could fart as long as you mm, it It'd is. be nice you Get him out It's on my resume Yeah It's very rare though Alright here we go Let's keep going through these you gotta bring it in. <laughs> Oh very mm. good that was very good. Like, I lost me a bit at the start, but recovered very well. Great length, great consistency, and just great sound the whole way through. I don't know if you can hear, guys. It's pissing yeah, rain pissing now. down rain. I like it. Oh, Sorry. it's beautiful, but it'll, it, should, it should come over on the podcast. So it's still yeah. on there. All right, let's keep going through these parts. <laughs> Yeah. We got a giggle Six. from the boys. Yep, not too bad. Here we go. This guy's on the toilet. Man, <laughs> that's not bad. That's good, seven. Mate. That's like a and trumpet. And he's filming his face the entire time. Very good. Very good. I like that. I'm giving that a seven. That's a seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a holy that's an shit. Eight. That's a seven and a half, dude. That that's a that's like it. Yeah, that is like it just needs a little bit of variety. But yeah, fuck, very solid fart there. Yeah, wow, it's hard. He would have been straining so much to keep that pitch. Yeah, well, that's it. That's why you got to pace yourself. You can't push yourself too early, otherwise your your fucking lung capacity gives out. <laughs> 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 See, I have gas. <laughs> <laughs> See, the variety at the end yeah, is what makes seven. it funny. I like the gaps. Yeah, you made you did well with the gaps because <coughs> even with the crackle part, there was gaps in between <coughs> each crackle, and that's hard to do. Trust yeah. me, that is a very difficult skill to learn. Matt that's Brown, a six. Matt Brown. <laughs> Fuck's all this black shit on my nose. Can Next. I farts? <laughs> oh, it was fake, you fucking cunts. <laughs> Dude, that sounded like one of mine. Similar. Yeah. Similar pitch. Very random. Is that Bodie? I don't Same. know. What do you say at the end there? I don't know. What do you say at the end? <laughs> You thought no. it was fake, you fucking cunts. Yeah, yeah was that Bodie? Bodie yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> so not fake and very impressive. All right, so if your fart doesn't score over a five out of ten, it's cut. 
So if you've sent your fart in and Matt said, oh yeah, awesome, thanks, and it doesn't Just, play on the podcast, hey, it's because we've cut it. We're the fucking fart gods. I'm fucking I tell you, I can't. We fucking judge your farts, and if they're not up to scratch, fuck We discard off. them onto the pile. Here we go. Great. Dude, <laughs> the little pop at the that's end. That's a nine and that a half. That is a very good fart. That's the very, best. The only thing I would recommend is stand up, pull your fucking pants down, and let that sound be crisp. Let it be clear. <laughs> let it ring from the shadows. <laughs> Was he sitting down? He yeah, he was on his bed by the looks of I it. I think a lot Sometimes of people use like mm. an but item. But you can tell he's got his pants on. It. Like at least take the pants off to let, yeah, let, let the sound free. be crisp, man. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a chance, man. <laughs> yeah, I can Very see good. that. That sounded like another language. Yeah, I like it. That sounded Six. like an alien language. Yeah, that is, uh, that's communication. It's squiggly. Mm. Squiggly a bit. Frost. Had a frost on the edges. Yeah. Cold poo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give that a six. I go four. Oh really? Not a fan. I like the um, edge time was very abrupt. <laughs> I take it serious looking at you. Dude. <laughs> We're having to cut some. There's some hilarious screaming and shit going on, but the farts are shit. So keep doing that. The perfect. Thing to send in fart. Scream fart Say your name That would be perfect <laughs> Here we go <laughs> Yeah he's, oh my he's my God, favorite dude. That he is the fucking winner so far. Yeah, that was gold. Man, that was very good. Great length. You could hear him controlling his <laughs> laughter. You know how that happens? You always start pissing yourself. <laughs> when they're really long. Oh, man. Very good. That's a solid nine out of ten. Very good. Fucking hell. Oh, man. Great fart. Yeah, I like it. I like the moans of pain. Very good, very good. Give that a seven, seven out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the fucking last one. <laughs> fucking cat on the back, round of a fucking fart. Very good. Keep that shit coming in. That's great. We love that. What a great segment that is. <laughs> fart is far. It's far and beyond. So fucking keep them coming. Send them into the fully actual uh, Instagram. And yeah, remember videos, some screams, and say your name if you want us to play it after. All right, the next segment we have the PO unboxing. Well, we open the shit that you've sent us live oh. on the fuck past. I lost it. What? Did you have a fart? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I think we've had about an hour and 40 minutes, but remember there's a lot of cut from farts Holy and there's a lot fuck. of cut. This could be our longest podcast yet. There's a lot of cut between um, prank call and all that sort of shit. Yeah. All right, Michael, if you'd like to open that one, and I think here we have another fucking code. <laughs> We've got donut films? No, for sure Oh, wait, not. no, he's the code, yeah. No, the code guy. <laughs> oh! Oh, I ruined my dick, dick, cheese, nutsack, asshole. Also, my pubes, hair are in the letter. Oh, it's these fucking pubes everywhere, cunt. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, his pubes. Oh, he's got fucking... Why are they so long? Wait, wait, get a vacuum. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, I'm pretty sure I got his pubes all over my leg. Thank you did very you, much. Did you see any, like, skin and shit? Did you see no, I didn't see Was there a name? No, don't open it, man. You, they'll all fall out. We, we have a letter full of pubic hair. Look how long that is. Oh. Imagine being a girl and having to suck on that. Those long... I think about He needs that. a manscaped ball wire. A manscaped yeah, you myself. need a fucking manscaped, brother. Michael's trying. Right, Michael. Michael's trying at something. Michael needs scissors. Look, his the strength is failing. Mm, he's using scissors now. Be it's careful. Not, not fast enough. Be you careful. Cranky. Cranky boy pulling at the sides. Trying to open the box. Mm, he's tired. It's hard. 
he wants to lie down and have ice cream. Mm, he's pulling a letter. He's pulling a letter. letter says, hello, boys. Greetings from Sweden. I wanted to send you something to show my appreciation and say thanks for entertaining me. It's a cool stone or wall decoration. I bought but never used. Maybe it could be good in Michael's house. Have a good one. Jonas from Sweden. Jonas. Jonas. You fucking legend, you dude. That is a good thank gift. You. You're a rad dude. Yeah, thank you, dude. Let's yeah, check else in there? Out. Any drugs? No? Okay. Oh, this is right down Michael's fucking alley. Yeah, Michael will correct. love this. He's going to fucking wear that at a as a cloak. This is oh, there's like a little hovering this man. Is my new bed sheet. Wear it as a cloak. Wear it as a fucking cloak, man. Look, we're doing more. One more, eh? We'll go fucking one more, cunt. Oh, this one's quite heavy. All right, last PO unboxing. We have this huge parcel. Surely no one can beat that. <laughs> Pass me the scissors. Oh. Oh, I don't like the way that exploded. That is anthrax. Do you reckon? You are. Right? It's a vacuum cleaner thing. Oh, it's not concrete, is it? I think it's a vacuum cleaner thing, and I'm not willing to dig into it. Hang on, let's go to find out what's in there. All right, we got sent a vacuum bag full of shit. We're gonna have to open this outside next week, and we'll film it and post it to the Instagram page. Okay, but we're not opening this in here because Michael has asthma and I don't want him getting sick. Thank you, Marty. All right. All right. Um, one more letter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> mm, we love our fan letters. Mm, tell us how much you like us, please. Mm, tell us how much you love us, please. Mm, we need it. All right, here we have... Jackson, Gately, and Andrew Babich have uh, photoshopped Donald Trump's and Hillary Clinton's heads on some um, bikini bodies. And very that's, clever. that's creative. Yeah, that's cool. It looks real, pretty genuine too. I actually thought it was Trump for a bit. They look hot. Mm. So uh, thank you for that. Great work. Um, and the rest will be for Fuck, next let's week. Let's get that box open. Damn. All right, one more. Just because, um, you know. It's Christmas. We're addicts. <gasps> oh, Dude, yes. Yeah, treats. yeah, dude. I remember oh, we got a DM from the sugar shop that so they hungry, said that dude. they've sent us some shit. Look how excited Michael is right now. Dude, I think there's going to be some good shit in here. It looks like a really like yummy, you know, there's like boutique lolly stores. Oh, dude, I'm so hungry, man. Oh, man. Everyone go and check out the sugar shop on Instagram. I don't know what their handle is. Hopefully, they'll have it in there. Just be careful. Just be careful, okay? And so you get the you get the blade of it like I tried, that, dude. yeah, and then you cut cut it along there. I tried. Can I make a suggestion? Who? Oh, I'm so hungry. I would wash your hands before eating any of that. Oh, Why? Fuck that. Because you've had dust and you've had pubes. Oh. oh, look at this, Matt. You're gonna be fucking. Here we go, cunt. All right, here's a care package in what there. What is it? In is it concrete? Wrap. Oh, in yes. bubble wrap. Oh, look at this. Thanks for the laughs. Love the sugar shop. www.thesugarshop.com.au. Woo! You want some fucking sugar delivered to your front doorstep? Show us a Oh, Show look at this. Clean, clean. Look at this package. So pretty and beautiful. We got yes, we love sugar. Chewable warheads. We got liquor stick candies. Whatever that is, we got fucking. I'm eating now. Oh I'm man, brain lick. I'm, I'm so taking hungry. some of these for Esther as well. Watch out for your pubes. Extreme. Sa Look at this massive gobstopper. Mm. Whoa! A gobstopper the size of a fucking cricket ball, cunt. That's what they've got. Oh. You could oh. use that for a video. Do you remember these fucking oh. tattoo gum? I used to collect them. Yes. All right, we will d we will divide this evenly when this podcast is over, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much, The Sugar Shop. Everyone, if you want fucking some, some sweets and shit delivered in a beautiful little box and great variety, mm. thesugarshop.com.au. Fuck, check me out. Thank you so much. Cut on the back. Everyone oh. says, cut on the back and round of a fucking Fuck, pause. that's good. <laughs> I needed that. Um, well all done. Right. Since we've been going for like two hours, we will uh, resume the explaining segment next week. Um, and other than that, that's it's it. It's time for the prank call. It's time prank for the It's time for It's Look. Adventure time! Which and is prank call time. And this week, I'm going to call the Brisbane City Council because we got this thing called curbside collection. And it's dangerous, man. It's, People could, it's trip hazard. People, yeah. It's going to genuinely, in it. genuinely complain because I don't want to see people hurting themselves. 
And it's just, it's rubbish on the street that shouldn't be on the street. That's the agree. And I'm going to be doing it as Dakota, our beloved vegan. Nothing uh, wrong with vegans. No, a, 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 what, what would you call Activist. people like that? SJW, social justice yeah. work. Yeah, social justice work. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I am. <laughs> All right, I should probably put my phone on private just in case the Brisbane City Council Let's get down. hates me. Imagine if, like, somehow they fucking, like, found out who I was, cunt, and, like, cut off my fucking power and that. <laughs> oh, fucking off, cunt. Hey, seriously. Well, they didn't, like, nah, oh, that they didn't happen, cut cunt. the grass at your local park. That could happen, cunt. That'd get out of control. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Let's cut down. Hey. Thank you for calling the Brisbane City Council. Calls may be recorded for quality yeah, good. purposes, and we may need to collect your personal information. Uh, no, you won't be doing that. Thank you. To help us improve our service delivery to you. To learn about our privacy policy, visit... <laughs> I already know your privacy policy off by heart. <laughs> Good afternoon, Brisbane City Council. This is Sharon. Uh, hello, Sharon. Um, my name's um, Dakota. And before we start, um, can I just, like, make sure that nothing gets recorded or, or whatever that thing said at the start of the call? Just said to mention, like, if yeah. I don't want it um, recorded in that. Because it's quite a private um, okay. issue. I've stopped the recording. That's Th- all good. Thank you so much, Sharon. Um, look, I'm just it's calling. I'm just I'm calling in regards to um, you know, like curbside collection and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, just around my neighbourhood um, a few weeks ago, like some of the curbside um, stuff out on the streets was sort of um, creeping out onto the footpath and it was actually becoming um, quite dangerous. And I, I saw at least um, three or four people trying to walk along the footpath and like they had to like go around it. Do you know what I mean? Like they had to actually stop and like and look up and then like veer to the left and make like a semicircle around the objects and like i didn't see anyone trip but i just thought like you know that's actually pretty dangerous do you know what i mean like and i'm just trying to like think of others um because you know that's just how i am but also um like i realized that like some of the paint on some of the furniture and stuff is like coming off onto the grass and that's actually i don't know if you know much about um like chemicals and stuff um but Yeah, that can actually kill the grass. (laughs) So, like, yeah. Okay. So, this is this has occurred in the past, has it? What was that? Sorry. This was in the past. It's not happening right now. Look, it happened a few weeks ago. Um, but I I just was driving to work today, and I noticed some curbside collection. Um, driving to work, and it was the same issue. Like driving through a completely different suburb, and there was like tables and stuff. Like I I think I saw like a table partially on on the footpath. Do you know what I mean? Like so, like I I don't know what to like. I'm I'm panicking nearly just thinking. Imagine if imagine if a blind person or something like that, or a deaf person or something or someone disabled or something like that was walking along and, and like, fell over or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy, especially with magpie season. So, are you wanting me to put through an obstruction on the footpath? I think I think what I'm trying to do is just sort of make you guys aware that maybe um, curbside isn't the right way to maybe go about things and, like, maybe think about the environment and that because, like, maybe for you guys and your generation it's okay, but for my generation coming through in about 20, 30 years – Trust me, we're going to be feeling these environmental damages. And yeah, it just seems like people that are older don't really get that. And like, it's really starting to stress me out a little bit. Do, do you sort of know what I, where I'm coming from there? or? So do you want me to put in a report, an issue or a complaint about curbside collection? Actually, that would be great if you could do that. And if you could maybe send that to like the head person, like, because if you send that to someone under the head person, like it'll probably just get thrown in the bin or something because I've had to do these reports before. Like I had the same complaint last year for curbside and wouldn't you know it, curbside happened again this year, even though I complained and it was a formal complaint and all of that. Even though I did that, curbside still is happening and I'm starting to freak out. Do you know what I mean? Okay, just to let you know that it's probably going to be more than one person to stop curbside collection. So much as I understand your complaint, it wouldn't just have take one person to stop the whole of Brisbane having curbside collection. Well, what's it the point be- of the reports then if my reports do we nothing? Can still, we can still put the report through. I just want you to know that if you if we don't take your details, we can't contact you and tell you the result the of the request. Because like, you mentioned you don't want your details to be passed on. And and, so and, and like just for the like the environment stuff. Someone. With yeah. the with the environment, do you know do you know what I'm saying about that? Like, because like I, honestly, sometimes okay. sometimes a mattress or something will sit on the grass and like the grass becomes like a bit yellow and that, and like 
dogs and stuff need to eat grass to live. Like the, the people need to eat that grass and so do animals. So like, it's just so bad for the environment and the toxins and stuff, they get washed off and run into the gutters. And then you can imagine the fish fire trying to inhale fire, that. Like that's not, that's not good for anything or anyone. Do, do you know what I'm sort of trying to say there or? Yes, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. But what yeah. I'm trying to say to you is for me to put this through and you to get a response, we'll need to take your details. I'm not comfortable and, um, with you guys taking my details okay. just because I so know my not. privacy laws and, and I'm... Okay, well, let me just interrupt you for a moment and sure, explain. Sure. If I don't take your details, I will put the complaint through, but there's no way you'll know the response. I can't contact you and say, hey, well, by the way, I've got a response. You won't know because we haven't got your details. So, yes, your complaint will be passed on, but you won't ever know what we have to tell you. Well, I'll, so, so I'll know the response because next year, if curbside's on again, I'll, that, that will be your response. I'll know that you guys have just thrown my report straight in the bin, even though I've just told you about all of the environmental issues that can happen and all about, all about the disabled people could be falling over and breaking their limbs and God knows what else and even hurt okay. their heads. They could even hurt their heads. With any changes to any policy within council, like a curbside collection, we would need more than one person to affect the whole of Brisbane, a very large city. One person would not make it a difference without contacting you to talk to you about it. So maybe and I should start pro protesting or something. Is that what you're saying? Like maybe I should no, get some I'm not more people. Not at all. I'm just saying, if you want a res if you want to talk to somebody about this, I'll need to take your details. You if I put it through anonymously, I can't tell you what the answer is. I don't know the answer. I've given I'm, only you... gonna, I'm only the person on the phone giving you information that I can transfer to to the waste team. Look, Sharon, I totally understand where you're coming from, okay? But I, the, oh. I've, I've, given, I've given you my first name and that's all I'm willing to do just because of privacy laws and everything and also storing my information and et cetera, et cetera. I don't want... Okay. I'm not comfortable with that at the no, moment. No, that's all right. I just so... want you to know I, I'm happy to put the request through but it's not necessarily going to stop curbside collection. I understand. So I, I feel like you're trying to like... You're trying to tell me like to protest and stuff. So no, I'll, no, not at all. I am not telling you anything. Please do not put words in my mouth. I'm well, not saying you sort that. of said that I'm, one person isn't going to make a difference. So I'm sort of I'm sort of guessing from that, that that I need a group, a large no, group of people to protest the streets about curbside. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that one person is not going sort to. Sort of are. So. One complaint is not going to change curbside collection for the whole of Brisbane. Exactly. Let me get the details. And I'll put the request through and pass it on. I don't want you to expect curbside collection to stop, though. That's what I'm trying to prepare you for. Okay, well, that's so uh, yeah, it's just crazy. You, I just so. I don't understand how I'm the only one doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. I see paint okay. paint on the grass and stuff. It's All just right. nuts. So what's the it's crazy where we need this for? So in, in some of the north side suburbs is where I'm I specifically... Need an address. I can't just put north side suburbs because my system needs a street number and a street name. Okay, Aspley. Let's start with Aspley. And the street name? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure of the street names. I can drive past and find that out for you because I can remember where it was exactly. But um, again, yeah, street names and stuff. I'm just not comfortable saying over the phone um, because um, you know, with privacy laws, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and information storing and stuff, I just can't do that. So I'm okay. So I need to advise you that the council has no record of the property if we haven't got a street name. We need a number and a street name. I'm sorry. I can't put it through without that. Thank you for apologizing. Uh, well, well, Sharon, thank you. No First of all, thank you for apologizing um, for on behalf of the Brisbane City Council. But um, look, with the street names and stuff, look, maybe, maybe, look, maybe I will just have to send, send some text messages and try and go to universities and rally some um, students and maybe see if um, we can all put in a big report together, like something like that, and um, see if we can make something this happen there because this is one of the, the biggest issues in the world and no one is even talking about it. I see on the news... 24 7 coronavirus this coronavirus that but no one is talking about curbside and how dangerous it is for deaf and blind people and people in wheelchairs okay. and also the environment you can't think about the environment when you're putting dirt putting rubbish on the grass all right. I, I'm sorry I can't proceed any further with this. That's okay. Look, Sharon, you've done the best you can. And honestly, like seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Like honestly, even just you listening to me, I feel a little bit better. So thank you so okay. much for that. But yeah, I'm just letting you know that, yeah, that what is going on is incredibly selfish from this Brisbane City Council. And like, yeah, the environment is suffering a great deal. So we need to sort of put a stop to that. But don't worry. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. You'll, you'll be hearing from me again. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you take good care, won't you? No worries. Sharon, you have a lovely evening, okay? 
and you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Sharon. Bye. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I fucking hate her. So hard to listen to. She is such not Sharon Dakota. Why? I don't know, man. But she grinds my gears. I'd still do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, you're fucking me. You're fucking me. You're fucking me. You're fucking me. It hurts. Please stop. <laughs> That's what it would be like. <laughs> I don't shave anything. My breasts are hairier than my head. <laughs> oh, dude. Anyway, that's the fucking prank call and a cat on the back and a big round of applause because everybody's here. Yes, everybody's fuck. here today. Great work. Also, guys, there's a fucking secret. There's a secret on the table. Who can guess what's out of place? Comment below. Don't forget to comment and share and like the video. Show it to your friends and neighbors and everything else that happens. Don't forget to subscribe to the website if you want like to see us shit. And if you want, buy some Manscaped shit, all right? Man, fuck hell. Look at this. We have virus, <laughs> virus in a test tube and we have Michael's armpit hair in a wax ball. Yeah, all of it. That's crazy, man. We're the best! 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 best. Oh, all right. Fucking hell, man. That was a long one. Yeah, I had to try and end it. She was being too like... Too persistent. Yeah, she's too been helpful. Too, too helpful. Too to be kind. Good at her job. I can't believe she didn't fire up a bit more, eh? Oh, she did a little. Oh, 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 I wish she fired oh, up a bit more. She eh? did a little where she was like, "Don't, don't put words in my oh, mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. Shut up, Sharon. <laughs> 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 you fucking idiot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Sharon. You handled that very well. I gotta go home. Oh, I'll best. see you guys later. Exactly. He's bounding backwards now. I can see him out the door. Oh, he's seen someone. He's hiding in the bushes. Pregnant. See you next week. <laughs>